Dear students, in the previous class, I explained OR gate. Now, today in this class, I am going to explain AND gate. This is a logic gate. This is the symbolic representation of AND gate. It may have any number of inputs, but it has only one output. Here, in the diagram, there are two inputs. A is an input. B is also an input. X is the output. Okay, uh, it is represented as x is equal to a into b. So, if you multiply a and b, you will get x. That is the output. Okay, this is about AND gate. Now, I explain you the truth table. See here, if a is 1, that is high, you know, uh, the value of 1 represents high and the value of 0 represents low. Okay. If A is 1, that is high, and if B is 1, that is high, the output Y will also be high. In all the remaining cases, output is low. Okay. So, uh, I give you definition. The output is high only when all the inputs are high. The output is low when any of the input is low. Okay, this is the definition of AND gate. I shall explain you the truth table using switches connected in series. See here, A is a switch and B is another switch. These two are connected in series. There is a bulb and battery connected in this circuit as shown in this figure. Uh, here the bulb is the output. It is represented by X. If the switch A is closed, it is represented by 1. If it is kept open, it is represented by 0. If the bulb glows, then it is represented by 1. If the bulb is not glowing, then it is represented by 0. Okay, now see here. Uh, if A is closed and B is also closed, then A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. Am I right? Since these two switches are closed, current flows through the circuit and the bulb glows, so X is equal to 1. So if A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1, then output x is equal to 1. Right? Now, if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0, that is, a is closed and b is opened. So, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0. And current is not able to pass through the circuit because c is kept open. So, bulb does not glow, output is 0. So, if A is 1, B is equal to 0, then output will also be 0. Now, uh, if A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, then what happens? It is kept opened and this is closed. Current does not pass through the circuit. Uh, the bulb does not glow. So, output is 0. If both A and B are opened, then A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0 then current does not pass, so x is equal to 0. So, you can explain all the cases of the truth table using two switches connected in series. Okay, this is all implementation of AND gate by switches. Now, I shall explain or I shall implement AND gate using two diodes. See here, this is a diode. This is another diode. The positive terminals of the diodes are connected to a voltage source through an external resistance R. What about their negative terminals? These two are negative terminals. The negative terminal of the first diode is connected to A and the negative terminal of the second diode is connected to B. Their positive terminals are connected in parallel to a voltage source V. Now, output is taken 
across the positive terminals of the diodes and the earth. Okay, here output is taken. Now, a voltage of 5 volts is represented by 1. A voltage of 0 volts is represented by 0. You know, 5 volts voltage is a high voltage. 0 volts voltage is a low voltage. So, high voltage is represented by 1 and low voltage is represented by 0. Now, I shall explain this case. If A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, then output Y is also 1. I shall explain this case uh, using these two diodes. Now, give 5 volts to A and give 5 volts to B. These two are high voltages. So, A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. Am I right? So, here high voltage is given to negative terminal. Here also high voltage is given to negative terminal of the diode. So, these two diodes are in reverse bias. You know, if high voltage is given to negative terminal, that is reverse bias. If high voltage is given to positive terminal, that is forward bias. Here, these two diodes are in reverse bias. They do not conduct current. So, current does not pass through the circuit. So, all the voltage will be here. So, output voltage will be high. So, output voltage is 1. Okay. Now, I shall explain this case. A is given 5 volts. So, A is 1. B is given 0 volts. So, B is 0. So, A is in reverse bias. Here, since it is 0 volts, it is in forward bias. This diode conducts current. So, current passes through this diode. So, uh, there will be no voltage in the output. Output voltage is almost 0. So, output voltage is 0. Now, I shall explain this case. Give 0 volts voltage to A. So, A is 0. Give 5 volts voltage to B. So, B is 1. What happens? Since A is in, this diode is in forward bias because low voltage is given to negative terminal. This diode will be in forward bias. Uh, this diode will conduct current. So, current passes through this diode. Here, it is in reverse bias. It does not conduct current. Since it is conducting current, current flows through this diode and almost here, there is no voltage. Output voltage is zero. Am I right? Now, I shall explain this first case. Give zero volts to A and zero volts to B. Both these two diodes are in forward bias they conduct current. So, almost all here there is no voltage. So, output voltage is 0. So, output voltage is low when any of the inputs is low. Output voltage is high only when all the inputs are high. This is all about AND gate. It is the symbolic representation of AND gate. It is the implementation of AND gate through switches. And this is the implementation of AND gate through diodes. And this is the truth table of AND gate. The output is represented by Y is equal to A dot B. Okay. Right.